We are currently in Orlando and we are going to do another restaurant review. This time we are going to Raisin Cane's mm -hmm. and it is located right next to the White Castle we did a review at. And the Portillo's. And Portillo's, yes. So they, I think this one they just recently built not too long ago. I mean, this whole area has been developed like in the past few months, really grown. And you and I both ate at a Raising Cane's in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And it was good. Mm -hmm. So we thought they aren't super expensive. They're more on your cheaper side. So let's head out, try it here in Florida and do a food review on it. Based on the amount of people here, I think we might run into what we did with White Castle. Might be a little bit of a wait. We'll find out. Let's go check it out. And if you're looking, there's Portillo's and White Castle's right on over there, but it is a very busy time right now. A ton of people are in this parking lot. Look at the drive-through. Wow, I don't even know how to cross the road right now. The drive-through is backed up. I'm pretty sure you can maybe do a mobile order. Sorry, I know that wind is loud, um, but we wanted to go in and show you what the inside looks like. I will say this parking lot's very busy and crowded, so just be careful walking in or driving. I will say the first thing I would say is the way they have the drive-through slash parking lot, not the best, not the best yet. They do have mobile curbside pickup right here. And here we go, they've got some outdoor seating. Let's go see if there's a long wait. All right, let's check out the inside oh man it's just crazy right now sunday through wednesday 10 to 1 thursday through saturday 10 to 2. thank you and this is what it looks like so pretty big line here order up there at the front and then hope that you can find a seat somewhere restrooms look like they're around the corner and they do have some merch back there on the wall they also have a disco ball actually three of them and the big raising canes chicken fingers on the brick wall this is insane it's always busy over here when we get a little closer we'll try to show you the menu um, but yeah this might take a while we can see how long it's gonna take it's currently 508 got this cool picture of Elvis Magic Kingdom newspaper. Over here we have up on the wall there's an in sync doll. Yeah, restrooms are back there. As far as the menu goes, it's just basically gonna be how many chicken fingers you want. It does show they have a chicken sandwich, but they have a eight chicken finger combo, four chicken fingers, three chicken fingers. They've got some fresh tea and lemonade, a kid's combo. I know their sauce is really good here. And the doll here is Joey Fatone, and it said he graduated from Dr. Phillips High School in 1995, and so did Wayne Brady. I can't read the other one yet. I'll try to zoom in so you can see the menu a little better. We're doing the Caniac combo. I said eight chicken fingers earlier, it's actually six. We're gonna share that and then get a tea or lemonade. But here's just a look at that menu. And also here's their gear. Definitely get their sauce. Their cane sauce is good. Once you order, they say they will call your name. Here's their logo. It does say our logo and mural. Oh, from the original location in Louisiana. Interesting. Yeah, so you just gotta listen for your name. They yell it out. Um, I think I'm gonna go with some tea. So we got hours to go because uh, we're gonna go eat it in the car. It's just insane in here. Um, we're just waiting for him to call out our order. Thank you. 
It is currently 522. 522. We just got our food, but look at the crowd in here. We're going outside. And it does look like if you eat inside, you do throw your trash away and put your baskets up. I have quite a bit to say about that um, scenario there. We'll save it for the car, but uh, got the food here. And uh, it's like, I think, 525 right now. So before we dig in, total price for the Caniac, which like I mentioned in there, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I originally said eight strips. It's actually six strips. And we got two drinks, extra cane sauce. Total was $20.37. Also, let's just dig in real quick about the way they have that set up. Terrible. Maybe it'll, and I don't think it will slow down. They grossly underestimated yeah. how many people were going to be in there. You can see the, the people waiting to get drinks were in the way of people waiting to get food, which were in the way of people to order, which were also in the way of people trying to leave. So it was just a terrible setup. They were pretty quick though, considering how many people were in there. It's also kind of annoying that some people stay up there and like fill their drinks up, fill their kids' drinks up, get the lids, get the straws all instead in the same camp, area, instead of, instead of just getting your stuff, filling up the drink and then leaving. So that was kind of an issue. But overall, we made it out alive. You had a good point, you said, you'd probably do drive through next time. Yeah. I'll wait 10 minutes longer in the drive through to yeah. deal with that. Yeah. But here is what it looks like. I don't want to tip it over too good. far. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and there's the sauce. I don't know how much sauce they normally give you, but that's what it looks like. So we're going to dig in. Um, as far as the crispy test, they're crinkle fries. So they're, they're decently crispy for a crinkle fry. And this is what one of their pieces of chicken look like. So we're gonna dig in. I will say their tea is really good tea. And I did half and half. Did you do half or yeah, full sweet? half and half. And the chicken's good. I love the seasoning on it. Fries are good. The sauce is really good. The only way I can really explain the taste of the sauce would be if you've ever had Freddy's. There's one in Ocala or several in Missouri, but sort of like their fry sauce a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's the best I could probably explain it. I don't really know it's how to. Similar. Yeah. In mm. the same family. Yeah. And it's good. I uh, haven't tried the coleslaw yet or the, the bread. bread. Did you try the bread? Looks like the pretty good, good bread. But yeah, the seasoning on the chicken is really good. All right. That was our review trip out to Raising Cane's here in Orlando. I think when I looked on the map, there's a couple other locations of Raising Cane's here in Florida. I will say everything was great. Mm -hmm. Food tasted amazing. Yep. 20 bucks, we're both full. There's plenty to share. Yeah. I would have to go back and look at the video because as far as dessert goes, I think they only had like a, a shake, maybe. We didn't really see any, but again, didn't it was- I didn't see anything that stood out, but I was just trying to order and- Survive, eat. yeah. 20 bucks though worth it if you like chicken very good coleslaw was good bread is fantastic they've got some good bread mm -hmm. three sauces was plenty was more than enough uh, we probably could have got by by like two. Comes with two yeah i think so you don't use as much sauce as i do but between sharing it we use like two and a half so you can gauge it that way we will have to come back out to this area because there's still a lot of stuff over here to try I would recommend going to a Raisin Cane's in a different location if you have one closer to you. Yeah, I don't think it would be mm. this crazy. This area just seems like it's very busy. I'll put that White Castle yeah, video at the end. Yeah, every location we've been to over here has been just wild. Yeah, but relatively cheap food for being this close to the theme parks. People are probably staying around here on vacation and I mean, 20 bucks we ate for, which is kind of hard to hard to do these days. Mm -hmm. Drinks are good, would recommend their tea. Probably drive through next time. If you are staying, I'd probably just go to the drive through get it, head back to wherever you're staying, eat it there. Yeah. I think that would be worth it. So I think we're gonna call it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was good. Glad we came. Yep. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.